Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Spirit Halloween 2023 Sneak Peeks. Um, you saw the video, Cotton Candy Dan, and today I'll just give, be giving my full opinions on this guy. Um, we're doing Sneak Peeks a bit differently this year. Um, we're just, uh, you know, showing the video of the animatronic, and then I'm just giving my opinions of each animatronic of the year from Spirit Halloween. So, um, Cotton Candy Dan has got to be my favorite clown of probably the past five years, I might like him even more than uh, Crouchy, which is actually something that I thought would never happen. I thought would I thought Crouchy would always be my favorite clown, but this guy might actually um, I might actually like this guy more than Crouchy, which is such a surprise. Um, but it's nice to see that um, Spirit is uh, you know he they w did so well with this guy. They designed him so uniquely. His face is so unique. I love how his face looks like, you know, he's like a zombie cotton candy clown. He's like a zombie. Um, like I said in my last video, he's like, he looks like he's decaying. Like he's slowly, like his face is crumbling to pieces because he's like a zombie clown. Um, and I love his outfit. I mean, it's a classic clown outfit with the classic, you know, color scheme. But I really do like the jump scare where he pulls up the cotton candy stick to reveal that creepy face. Uh... I don't know about you, but the face actually kind of reminds me of Freddy Krueger, kind of, not really, but a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, this guy's just probably one of the most unique clowns of the past seven years, and um, definitely probably my favorite clown of the past five years. I can't believe I'm saying I like him more than Crouchy, but he's just way more unique than Crouchy, and I think I actually like his face a bit more. Um, but we'll just have to see when I see him in person. But yeah, he's by far my favorite animatronic of the year and um like i said in my pr past video i think i have to buy this guy um i'm already getting art the clown so i don't think i'm gonna get him like e during the halloween season i might get him for christmas because each christmas you know i get some christmas money to buy you know whatever the hell i want <laughs> so um yeah i'll probably uh end up buying this guy because i feel like even for 329.99 that's i i don't feel like that's that bad of a price because this guy is just so unique and you know i love his mouth animation and his jump scare so yeah really really cool cotton candy dan um it's not much i have to say i just and he's six feet tall so that's good i mean i i kind of i'd be i'd be pretty actually disappointed if he was seven or eight feet tall because there was there would be no way i'd be able to get this guy because uh he would not fit in my house at all <laughs> my ceilings are so short but um yeah six feet's a good height though because he's not definitely not too small but not um not too big which is good um but yeah he's like he's a really good clown i like him more than henry hustle which is obvious since i like a crouchy more than henry hustle um yeah they did really well designing this guy i'm pretty sure this guy's designed by techie design techie toys techie design whatever you want to call it um I love his classic red hair, and uh, when I first saw, you know, when I first saw the, you know, sneak peek of just his feet and the cotton candy thing, I was like, oh, okay, this will probably just be, you know, I thought this would be kind of like a short, like, kid clown um, holding a stick in the cotton candy, but no, we get this giant, this, like, six feet tall monster clown that's like a zombie clown, um, a decaying zombie clown, like I said. So it's really cool. And Cotton Candy Dan, the name doesn't sound that exciting at all. When I saw the name Cotton Candy Dan, I thought, yeah, he'll probably just be a Cotton Candy Clown um, that might not be that good or might be a little decent. But <laughs> they dropped this bomb on us, which is probably, yeah, like I said, I keep on saying one of the best clowns we've gotten in the past five years, which is so cool. This guy alone makes this year pretty good for spirit halloween and i can't believe i'm saying that but one animatronic makes me automatically like this year for spirit halloween 
but yeah, there are some other animatronics this year that I do really like, but this guy's definitely my favorite. There's no way in hell that I'm going to have any other animatronic from this year at my number one spot. This, this guy's got to be my number one spot. Um, but yeah. Uh, and I can't wait to see if I can get him for Christmas, hopefully, if he's still like for sale on the website. But yeah, that's my, that's Spirit Halloween Sneak Peeks, uh, part one on Cotton Candy Dan. Uh, he's, in my opinion, the best clown we've gotten from Spirit Halloween in the past five years. Probably the best clown animatronic in the past five years, uh, excluding poison props because they're, they're a whole nother level. But um, yeah, Cotton Candy Dan, amazing prop. Can't wait to see him in person. Can't wait to do videos of him while he's in the store and stuff like that. Uh, he's crazy. Um, and I hope I get to buy him sometime in the future, like I said, for Christmas. But I'm already getting Art the Clown. So yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Cotton Candy Dan. Comment down below what you think of him. I think he is flawless. I think there's nothing bad I have to say about him at all. He's ama He's an amazing clown. What more can I say? I'm done talking. I'm tired. I gotta, you know, edit some stuff. Um, so yeah, that's Cotton Candy Dan uh, for you. And uh, see you guys in the next part of the Spirit Halloween Sneak Peek series. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.